Welcome back everyone, Mudford here. Today what I'm doing is making an electric fan from an 02 to 04 Liberty fit on my classic Bronco. This is an aluminum champion radiator. I have another video where I did a repair on it. So this is the classic Bronco size. It's the flipped for a 351. So a normal Bronco would have the upper radiator hose over there. So this works great if you're doing a serpentine conversion with an Explorer setup like I have. And you don't want to run a regular fan. You can run this electric fan. There's a great article on ClassicBroncos.com. I used a half inch angle aluminum and bolted it here and here and I used nylon nuts so hopefully they don't vibrate up out and then I did some trimming for my hoses depending on what kind of radiator you'd have you would have to do some trimming also more than likely you're gonna have to do something I also did cut the lip off here I put a straight edge on it and cut it because it goes well over the radiator on the Liberty and this one it won't fit so you have to trim it so once you get the angle on you get it trimmed you're gonna have to take the radiator in and out a few times and hopefully you do a better job drilling your holes than I did I had a few errors these are um, like body nuts or whatever and they'll slip right on I had to modify them a little bit grind on the end of it so it would fit in there so close to the angle Oops. get them lined up right we're going to slip the radiator down in the easiest way is to go like this Oops. It fell right into place just about there was a clip falling off unfortunately so I'm going to have to find that clip. So here's what it looks like with it all bolted in. So you can see I got a little, just a little bit of clearance between the water pump pulley threads where the fan would screw on and the electric fan here. But you can see it fits fairly tight around. There's a little, a few little holes around where I had to trim it. But the sides are real good. And the top and bottom are pretty much identical like this. And it's bolted in. There's four bolts holding it so it fits pretty tight. I'll show you the bottom. So there's the screw on the bottom. It's pretty much the same as the top. Bolts on really nice. It's a real good fit. All I have to do now is tap into my fan output. Um, right there is the plug. right there. I'm just tapping into that and my Holly Sniper EFI system right under there will control the temperature of the f when the fan kicks on and off and I'm able to set that and change it to whatever I want. So hopefully I'll have that hooked up. I'm going to hook a relay up on here and ground it on here and then it should be good to go. The electric fan is all wired in now. All we need to do now is test it. We're going to look at the dash on the um, sniper display, the temperature, and make sure it kicks on and off when it's supposed to. So this is set to come on. The fan is set to come on at 180, and then it'll shut off when it cools it down to 175. So let's watch real time and see if it kicks on when it's supposed to or not.